TNTM The Show presents... The July Recap with your hosts... Pablo Gunner. Slay J. Marvin Goof. And we are here to talk nerdy to you about The Acolyte. That one's also going to be a spoiler review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share our content if you don't mind helping us out. Yes, and our grade scale here at TNTM The Show Talk Nerd and Me is must see, must stream. Check it out. Pass. Speaking of arguments, let's move on to The Acolyte, which we're going to talk about the finale. We're going to talk about. Spoilers ahead. Spoilers Sorry, no. about. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, earmuffs. Earmuffs, um, yeah. <laughs> so, I feel like we really only have the finale mainly to talk about, right? Yes, is that all you guys haven't covered yet? Well, no, I mean, I, there's more, but... I've seen the whole show, so we so, can talk about so it. So where we left off, I think, was episode four for the podcast. Okay. Right now, for mine, I covered everything. Uh, so five and forward, which well, five... Here Here's the meat of the series, then. That's yes. I'm glad I'm here for this. So mm -hmm. five forward. Go ahead. Five forward. Mm -hmm. Wait, we talked about four? Yes. Five was the best out of the series. Was that the one where they had the fight in the jungle? Yes. Okay, that yeah. was sick. Okay, and and yeah, it was sick. So where are you at then? Are so you at three the fight in the jungle with with the with the the Sith. Yes. 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 yes I got that far. Yes, and I would agree. It's an amazing sequence. But yeah, it's, it's it's great. They're showing a lot of cool things in this. Like where. It's a lot of call-outs to the people that read the old books that aren't canon anymore. There's a lot of stuff that they're calling out in this, which is great. The uh, the sensory deprivation helmet, mm. I think that's cool. And then then they kind of they kind of were setting up this whole like bait and switch thing where it's like now we're really finding out that the uh, OSHA is more of the Sith, mm. and then you're kind of having a redemption arc for. What's the other May. Name? May. May. Yeah. And that was great. It's been a while since I've seen it, but it's uh, they do a good job with uh, showing this. And I've told him plenty of times through our conversations, this is the best I've seen them portray the Jedi Order out of anything they've done. Um, also, it's a great way to introduce us to more of the Sith Order, the the Rule of Two, the just everything that has to do with Sith. We're getting that introduction. The Kyber Crystal thing, very interesting, but really cool, man. It really, it, it's cool that it's feeding off emotion, and it's, that's why they have red lightsabers. So, it's, mm -hmm. now that's the canon, and, and we're gonna have to accept that. If you don't like it, get over it, I guess. <laughs> but can, it, it, it's a great show. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was phenomenal. Oh my god. Uh, I only, I actually showed my wife, I said, wife, I need to watch this, so I'm gonna put this on, and she was like, uh, and then she saw the Sith and she was like, I'm in, <laughs> you know, because it was like, it was the one where it was came like shirtless and she was like, where do I recognize this guy? Cause I kind of already love him. And she watched him from the good place. Oh uh, yeah. And yeah. so mm -hmm. I, I don't watch that show, but he's very like sweet, nice and naive, which he kind of plays off in the earlier episodes. So it's easy to fool you, but not, but it wasn't too hard, right. To piece that together, to be like, he's probably, he's probably one of the Sith, right. Mm -hmm. To me, the, oh, the god, the Plagueis was blew my mind, blew my top off. I was like, oh. yes! yes! Like, he's like clawing. I was like, oh my god. Yes. And to me goes, he would be interested in Ocean May because they kind of are, they're not the one, but they're like the forced one. Man. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right? Like, the that coven tried to kind of force their own chosen one into... Existence. Two people, mm -hmm. yeah, and do existence, and that's another reason why it's you're like he is the one and only because it's like he's one person, and they forced this, and he was he was natural through the force created, right? Mm -hmm. So to me, like that whole idea of like oh yeah, well it ruins it. It's like no, it makes him more special, and so but the the fact that that's why Plagueis would be interested in them just makes it so much better, right? Because yeah, even like Soul was hinting at like they really are. Like they were, it's like they were split, you know. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's really crazy the things that they teased in that last episode too, like building up Yoda, you know, mm -hmm. at the end. Like they said they weren't going to show Yoda in this, and then they did. And I'm like, 
oh my god, like I can't believe they did that, you know? It would be a travesty to not get a second season. It's crazy to me to go to, to, to think like, yeah, this may not be my favorite show and I don't think it's the best show like writing wise at least. Mm. I don't, it's definitely not bad, but to go because of those, despite those things, this is still my most wanted second season show, right? Mm. Like Ahsoka, yeah, I would love to see another season of Ahsoka, but I, I feel like it also ended and then with Ray Stevenson passing away, I go like, I'm okay with it leaving where it was because they're going to do like a Thrawn movie anyways too. So I'm like, <laughs> well, you could just somehow shoehorn that in there or whatever right. but i feel like this one needs it the most and deserves it the most because like i'm on the edge of my seat i'm clung like i have to know more about vanestra too and like because that may have him been her padawan you saw the thing on his back and you're like that looks like her light whip yes mm -hmm. so she may have tried to kill him and he didn't actually die and it's like well now it just sounds like his grudge is completely in the right but we don't know we need to get that flashback now. One more reveal revelations. And then who's that one dude that showed up that was the senator? And that guy was just like, he was cooking too. Like all his lines of dialogue were just beautiful. Perfection. Oh, man. Right? Like, and I was like, yes, we need more of this dude. That stuff alone, like, it's the potential, right? Like you can, the thing is, is that they can fix all the problems that they, what worked in this season, what didn't work. Let's get rid of the things that didn't work and let's tighten things up and let's fix the things. And I think they can do that in the second season. In For, a typical Star Wars fashion, they like to throw in like random animals, like the little uh, the beaver character. What was his name? Oh, the Basil. Yeah, Basil. Yeah, Basil. I thought he was an otter. I thought he oh, was otter. more like a humanoid okay. otter. Well, you, uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't know my animals. <laughs> there was a so. weird creature too that like they they had on that Sith island, and my wife was like, it looks. Like, the nose looks like an uncircumcised, but anyways, <laughs> yeah, it was gross. This and I was like, nerdy after dark, bro. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, I, I, it's, it's the medical term. I didn't <laughs> anything else, <laughs> you know? But anyways, I for me, it was such a phenomenal show that, and the consistency of the episodes to me, when you average it all out from, from my scores, I would say it's still a must-see, must-stream. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, it's st it's still a must uh, stream or whatever our thing. It must see. <laughs> <Indeed>. it must see. <laughs> Bye. I'm just so used to the other system, but uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's fantastic. They it, there's a lot of exposition in it, so they really do set up something that's going to happen in the future really well. And I would like to know more about Quimir. Is that his name? And then. I love the Witch Covenant. It, it was like a throughout to the Darth Dothomir Witch uh, in back in like the Legacy of the Force, the Force Awakens type, uh, or you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Clone Wars <laughs> yeah, stuff yeah, for sure. Yeah, Clone mm -hmm. Wars stuff. It's uh, it's great. I think there's a lot of stuff that that's that's getting set up for the Sith, and I think a lot of people have been wanting more of like a Sith focus. Focus for sure. Yeah, for me, it's must-see, even though I haven't seen everything, but after all this, I'm watching it tonight. <laughs> uh, but We all, ruined it for him. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. But, you know, I was Hearing see it, it anyway. and seeing it is yeah, different. It's a yeah. completely different experience, but it, it's because of what it does for the lore, what it adds to all of that. But there is a lot more stuff that they do that we didn't even talk about. Which, Cortosis, yeah, yeah. like, oh yeah, mm -hmm. so much. Indeed. So yes, must-see it. What are you doing? watch it probably gonna see a lot of ninja turtle stuff yeah ninja mm -hmm. turtles merch from us yeah, so yeah. keep an eye out for that and uh that's it for us